Thank you. Please be seated. This commissioning ceremony is a short but simple one. But the actual purpose for which this commissioning ceremony is taking place is a huge technological leap for our dear nation, Ghana. Ghana has great human resource, but we need to combine this great human resource with the application of technology in order to achieve the kind of efficiency that would promote economic growth and progress of our nation. Ghana, as we know, is a maritime country with more than 557 kilometers of coastline. And increasingly in the world, maritime safety and security have become a global issue. Recently, we had heard about piracy in the Horn of Africa. The world collaborated and the incidence of piracy in the Horn of Africa has greatly reduced. But alongside the reduction of the incidence of piracy in the Horn of Africa, we're seeing an increase in the incidence of piracy in the Gulf of Guinea. In 2012 and 2013, reported incidents of piracy in the Gulf of Guinea exceeded reported incidents of piracy in the Horn of Africa. As a result of this, the UN Security Council met and passed two resolutions, Resolution 2018 and Resolution 2039. And these resolutions draw attention of Gulf of Guinea countries to the increased incidence of piracy and expresses concern of the UN Security Council about that phenomenon and urged Gulf of Guinea countries to come together to take action against the increasing rates of piracy. As a result of this, there was a, an urgent meeting that was called in Yaoundé, in Cameroon, and Ghana was represented, and strategies for uh, combating piracy were taken at that meeting. In addition to the issue of piracy, compounding it is the issue of drug smuggling uh, in our waters. A third issue is illegal fishing. Because of the rich marine resources of the west coast of Africa and the Gulf of Guinea generally, many vessels come and fish illegally in our waters. This is called poaching. And we are unable to check it because of a limitation in terms of technology. Recently, we have come under the threat of a ban of our fish products into the EU as a result of illegal fishing and unreported uh, fishing. It means, therefore, that we must tighten our regulations and supervision of our fishing fleet in order that the EU does not ban our fishing products into the EU. There existed an old VTMIS system owned by and operated by Gapoha, which has not proved effective in terms of monitoring this illegal fishing activity. Aside from that, you are all aware that from 2011, Ghana joined the club of oil producing industry, uh, uh, countries, countries that produce oil. And incidentally, all our sensitive oil installations are offshore, and therefore they are positioned in a marine uh, context. Everywhere in the world, if you have sensitive installations, such as oil installations, you need to provide adequate security to ensure that there is no accident or there is no sabotage happening. As a result of all these challenges that, and, and, and issues that I have outlined, it becomes necessary for us to enhance our capacity to be able to deal with all these uh, challenges. And so from 2009, a decision was taken for us to upgrade and install a new and improved state-of-the-art vessel tracking and management information system. And that's how this project was born. And, um, a few years later, here we are to finally uh, commission the system. In this example of the VTIMS that we are commissioning, more than 10 state agencies are going to benefit from one system. If it hadn't been so, the Navy and the military would have had their own VTIMS system. National Security would have set up their own VTIMS system. Ghana Maritime Authority would have had theirs. 
NACOB would say they need a system to check drug trafficking, so they would also have had their system. Fisheries departments to monitor the fishing fleet would have had their system. But thank God, as a result of cooperation, today all these agencies are benefiting from this system. And that's why I'm very pleased to be here to associate myself with this very important project. It is said to be a state-of-the-art system, the latest, and so currently, and I'm talking of today, it is the best system in Africa. And it meets the International Maritime Organization standards to the percentage of 99.8% 99 .8 of the IMO standard it, it meets. This is a phenomenal capacity that we have installed. And so this system is going to serve not only Ghana, but we're going to share the information with the rest of our Gulf of Guinea neighbors. Ghana's waters have been known to be the safest in the Gulf of Guinea, and many international shippers would rather berth their ships in Ghanaian waters, waiting for there to be space in the port of entry before they move out of Ghanaian waters. With this system, our waters are going to be even safer than they have been in the past. This project is a symbol of Finland-Ghana cooperation. We were assisted by the Finnish government with a concessional loan of uh, more than 16 million uh, uh, euro, and Ghana uh, contributed by paying the counterpart funding, financing 15% of the project. In addition, we also catered for most of the local costs, including land and other uh, related uh, costs. And I charge you, Ghana Maritime Authority, your uh, management and staff to ensure that you keep this uh, system well maintained so that it gives the kind of service that we expect for the progress and prosperity of Madagana. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. 